Hello and welcome to my code coffee. In previous chapter, I explained how node connects to the Bitcoin network to become part of this peer to peer network. Once a node becomes part of the network, it can do one or more functions depending on which type of node it is. If it is Bitcoin core, it will verify the transactions, verify the blocks and mine the blocks. If it is full blockchain node, it will verify the transactions and verify the blocks. If it is solo miner, it will verify the transactions, verify the blocks and mine the blocks. And if it is lightweight wallet, it will verify the transactions. So you see that irrespective of which type of node it is, one thing which is common is all of them do transaction verification. Now you can appreciate how important it is to understand what is transaction verification or payment verification. In this chapter, I will explain what is full payment verification in Bitcoin blockchain. Prerequisite of this chapter is that you must have good understanding of transaction, transaction input, transaction output and how they are related to each other. If you think you do not understand these concepts good enough, I will suggest you to visit chapter 8 on transaction in this series before you see this video. So what is full payment verification? Well, as the name suggests, it is the verification of payment made in bitcoins. And what is payment in Bitcoin blockchain system? Of course, it is transaction because payment in Bitcoin essentially means transaction. So it is the verification of transaction. But what is the meaning of full verification? Is there anything like half verification also? No, but there is something called simplified verification and that we will see in next chapter. But full verification of transaction means that the transaction can be tracked back all the way down to the first block in the blockchain. Before we take a deep dive in the transaction verification process, I think it is important to explain where transactions are stored in the node. Yeah, I know you are thinking uh, where else but in the blocks of blockchain. You are right, but that's not the only place where nodes store transactions. Nodes also maintain a pool of valid but unconfirmed transactions known as transaction pool or memory pool or mempool. Unconfirmed transaction means that it is valid in all sense but it is not present in the blockchain. There is another pool of transactions which is maintained by node and that is called orphan transaction pool. Orphan transactions are those transactions whose input is pointing to a transaction which is not known to the node. So this node will keep this transaction in the pool of orphan transaction till it gets the transaction pointed by transaction input of this transaction. There is another set of transaction called UTXO or unspent transaction output. These are also kept in a separate database, though they are present in the blockchain also. So basically, contrary to transactions in mempool or orphan pool, these are confirmed transactions. Reason to have a copy of UTXO apart from blockchain is that these transactions are active transactions and used by wallets in various ways. So you want to keep these transactions in a separate database for indexing and easy retrieval. Transactions are created by wallets when owner of Bitcoin transfers the Bitcoin to the next owner. The wallet node which created the transaction will send the transaction to the connecting nodes. These nodes will do their own independent verification of this transaction and if they find that transaction to be valid, they will forward a copy of these transactions to their connecting nodes. This process will continue till all nodes get the transaction. If a node finds that the transaction is not valid, it will reject the transaction and it will not propagate that transaction further. So what all verifications are done by node on this, these transactions? This is an ever evolving list of verifications and you can always see these details in the functions except to memory pool, check transaction and check inputs in Bitcoin core. In this verification process, apart from validating syntax, data structure, size, locking and locking script, it also checks that each of the transaction input in this transaction should point to a valid unspent transaction output. So let's say this node which is a full blockchain node got a transaction ABC and transaction input of this transaction is pointing to transaction XYZ. This node will search this transaction first in the mempool and if transaction XYZ is not available in mempool it will search blockchain. Let's say transaction XYZ is indeed present in the blockchain then it will make sure that transaction input of incoming transaction ABC is pointing to transaction output of XYZ which is unspent. 
let's say that yes it is pointing to an unspent transaction output of transaction xyz so this node will save transaction abc in mempool because this transaction is valid now let's say this node received another transaction def and this transaction is also pointing to same transaction output to which transaction abc was pointing since two transaction inputs cannot point to same transaction output so this node will reject this transaction and it will not propagate this transaction to its connecting nodes uh, and also of course it will not save it in mempool or any other transaction placeholder now let's say another transaction ghi came let's say input of this transaction is pointing to transaction uvw node searched transaction uvw in mempool as well as blockchain but could not find this transaction so this transaction ghi will be saved in orphan transaction pool now came another transaction and hey this is transaction uvw which this orphan transaction was pointing to okay before we get over excited let's make sure that this transaction itself is valid which means it has passed all verification checklist and its input is pointing to an unspent transaction output oh yeah it is pointing to unspent output of our very first transaction abc so this is a valid transaction so good to be moved to mempool and yeah don't forget that ghi is no more orphan so now it can also be moved to mempool so these transactions are valid but unconfirmed so how these transactions will be confirmed they will be confirmed by miners if this node is a miner also then it will collect these transactions from mempool and mine the block we will see the details of mining in the unit of mining and consensus but for now let's say miner mined a block and now that block has reached to this node this node will do block verification as well as transaction verification of all the transactions in this block if everything is good it will attach this block to, the, to its blockchain and if these transactions are in this block it will remove these transactions from mempool so now these transactions are not only valid but confirmed as well did you observe an important aspect of this type of verification every time a node is making sure that the transaction input of a transaction is pointing to a valid transaction output this transaction gets validated all the way down to the first block or the genesis block the reason is that it's a chain of verification you see because previous transaction was also validated with its own previous transaction and that transaction was validated with its own previous transaction so in this way full node ensures that the transaction that is validated is part of a valid sequence of transactions which can be tracked down to the first block in the blockchain needless to say that this type of verification can only be performed by full node which means a node which maintains full blockchain however not all node can maintain full blockchain there are nodes which work in space constraint environment so they cannot maintain full blockchain uh, there are wallet nodes which do not maintain full blockchain but still they are able to verify the transaction how do they do that and what are its pros and cons something very interesting isn't it i will cover this topic in next video so stay tuned and enjoy my code coffee if you now want to move to the next chapter you can click on this card and yes don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon because so many interesting videos are on the way for easy navigation to all chapters visit mycodecoffee.com thank you so much for watching